Hello everyone. In this next film for Room for Art, I'm going to show you how to go about adding a little bit of black drawing ink onto a watercolour painting. For me it's a technique which can really, really enliven, really make much more exciting a watercolour painting which hasn't quite turned out as bold as I would like. I do like bold, dramatic paintings. In this first one I'm showing you here, this is just one of my very small, detailed, miniature paintings. Um, you can see that I've used black ink all across the painting just to add all the areas of detail. And this has mostly been done with a drawing pen, which I dip into the ink and draw with, and a little bit with a paintbrush, which I dip into the ink and paint with. Normally I don't use it in as detailed a way as this. This one here, you can see it's a much less detailed painting and I've scratched and scribbled the ink on top of the watercolour. You can also see some pencil drawing as well. If you try to imagine this same painting without a, without that ink there, I think you can see it would be a much softer, more subtle painting. Um, and it's not to say that either of those are better or worse. But if you're not happy with your watercolour and you think that there's no salvaging it, try adding some, some ink before you put it into the recycling. One more. A very dark one. And this has got lots and lots of black ink all across it. And with this one, I didn't put on the ink as the final stage. I was using the black ink drawn using a dip pen and painted on using my watercolour brushes at the same time as I was adding the watercolour. So I was very much doing um, the ink, then the watercolour, then the ink, then the watercolour, and also sometimes having watercolour paint and black ink on my brush at the same time. Um, right, so here is a painting which I did of skunk cabbage, an invasive species, on a really lovely walk which we've been doing since childhood um, along the um, uh, along the river from, oh dear, I'm losing my memory, along the river from Dunblane to Bridge of Allen, yeah, and it's a walk that I've done many times. This really striking lime green and bright yellow skunk cabbage was there at the water's edge. But it's pretty hard to read this painting so I thought this would be a good one to try adding a bit of black ink onto. You can get all sorts of different ink. I tend to buy mine in quite large um, bottles like this. This is Indian ink and I use mm, waterproof ink. Here's a different colour. Brown or sepia. I use waterproof ink, that means that once it's dried you can paint on top of it and the ink will not run. Um, I buy these large bottles but I have this which I take out on all my sketching trips, ink stains, so you don't want it leaking in your rucksack. So in a plastic pot and in a plastic bag I've got my little container which I put this ink into. And this is really a very good find because this container has got a pipette inside. And I'll just show you on here. This pipette allows me to draw and allows me to push the end and squeeze out blobs of ink which I can then spread So really good. So I quite often will find that all the black ink on a sketch has been applied just using this pipette. There are lots of different ways to use the ink, but you could 
as the simplest way of using it, you could really just draw outlines on top of what you've already painted. And straight away, this is a far bolder image. Using this pipette doesn't allow me to be particularly subtle. So I am going to also get out my drawing pen to show you. But I think I'm finding it a more interesting image already just through using this. Zoom in for you. Here we go. Okay, um, yeah, so my drawing pen, this was, this is what I use to carry my very precious wooden nib pen with me. And this is one of the pens which belonged to my grandpa, my mum's dad. Uh, he was a really great draftsman. Mum is an artist and both of her parents were really a uh, good. Grandpa was a great draftsman and my granny was a great, quite expressive painter, particularly her landscapes. So yeah, this is the old style pen which you have a metal nib, you slot into the pen, loads of different designs are available. Um, I was going to show you another design, but I can't spot it on my... Oh yeah, oh yeah, here it is. Yeah, this is quite a nice one because no risk of damaging the nib because look, you unscrew this and there is your very fine nib inside. I should use this one more. It's got a snapped nib at the moment. I must have been drawing too hard. Okay, so... Please bear in mind that you do, with this technique, sometimes spill blobs of black ink and yeah, sometimes it does spoil, <laughs> sometimes it does spoil what you were wanting. But often you can get, get a paintbrush and spread that black blob of thick ink out using your paintbrush and turn it into a feature within the painting. I hope you can see here that this is allowing me to do finer lines with just a bit more control than I was able to with that pipette. Um, if you watch me sketching outside you can also find me and lots of other artists you can see that we might pick up a stick that's lying beside us dip that into the ink and draw with that. You can do cross hatching, this sort of thing, to bring in areas of shade. That's a traditional technique, but I must admit one which I don't really use. If I'm going for areas of real dark, I'm far more likely to get out my brushes. So I shall get one for you now. Okay, these are just the, the brushes I use for watercolour or acrylic, just my normal brushes. I just make sure if they're my watercolour brushes that I brush the, that I clean them out very well afterwards after they've had the ink on. I've dipped this brush directly into my ink pot and now I am effectively painting using the ink. And in another short film, I must stop saying short because they rarely are, in another film I shall show you creating a whole painting or drawing, painting really, using only black ink, no paint. You can dip your brush 
into water as I've done here. Get beautiful ink stains spreading out through the water. And now the ink, you can't actually tell that here, but this ink is more watered down than it was. Yeah, you can tell over here. So I'm starting to brush it and it really is looking like watercolour paint now. You still wouldn't necessarily, unless you knew of skunk cabbage, wouldn't necessarily what was going on in this painting. I think it's looking quite fantastical. I like fantastical. And I'm not going to put any ink up at the top here. I'm going to leave that light, just the watercolour, that nice little bleeding watercolour effect and have it much darker down here at the bottom and on the right. Not going to do much more to this. If you try using ink like this on top of say acrylic paint it's going to be less successful because it does not stick does not properly adhere to the acrylic paint especially if you've applied the acrylic thickly um, same with if you were to try applying it to oil paint but that's not to say that it's not worth trying and you can also do as I've showed in my watercolour videos you can get a cloth or a sponge and press on top of areas where your ink is still wet and dab bits of it off if you didn't quite like what you'd done there. But once this ink has dried, that's it dry, I can't get it off. As I said, it's, uh, it's waterproof. Okay, I shall call that a finished artwork. Put the lid back on your ink straight away. You know what, now that I've stood up, I'm not so happy with that. I want it <laughs> a bit darker. And then dabbed. Okay, there we go. You can sometimes find that the blobs, the thick blobs of ink on the painting, on the sketch, when they're still wet, you can sometimes dip your pen or your brush into them, pick up some of that excess ink and draw with it elsewhere. Now don't forget to clean your brushes and your pen nib very, very well. I dip the nib into the water, as I've done just then, shake it about a bit, and then use the old paper napkin to um, dry it off. And I'll go downstairs once I've finished this and actually use a scrubbing brush to just gently make sure that there's no thick ink left on that metal nib. Well, look at that, a film which is less than 15 minutes. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed that, and I really hope that you'll like using some of this black drawing ink. I, I love it. I think it can really add to your painting repertoire. Okay, thank you.